Dear Tim and Moby, where does soil come from? From Juno. Soil is a blend of rock and mineral fragments, water, air, and humus. That's carbon-rich or organic material left behind by living things. It all starts with the rocks and minerals that form the Earth's crust. Things like wind, water, ice, carbon dioxide, and oxygen break the crust down in two processes called weathering and erosion. Weathering is the process of breaking down rocks, soil, and minerals through contact with the atmosphere. Heat, pressure, water, and other chemicals can cause a rock to become weathered. And erosion is something that causes rocks to move and disintegrate by the action of water, wind, gravity, and ice. As a rock erodes and weathers over many years, it breaks down into tiny pieces and small plants are able to grow in it. The roots of the plants break the rock down even more. Humus made of dead plants accumulates in the rock. The humus makes the dirt more livable, not only for more complex plants, but also for animals that live in the ground, like worms and insects. As more and more plants and animals live in the soil, its humus content rises and it becomes more and more fertile. The process can take thousands and thousands of years. But if you've ever dug a deep hole, you can actually see the different stages of soil in the process of forming. Soil is made up of three layers, or horizons. Horizon A, or topsoil, contains lots of humus, which makes it the darkest layer. The A horizon is covered by a layer of litter, made up of leaves, twigs, and other organic material. This stuff will eventually decompose into more humus. Horizon B, or subsoil, contains weathered rocks and minerals and clay. It has much less humus than the A horizon, so it's lighter in color and much less fertile. Horizon B contains some organic material washed down from the A horizon through leaching. When water soaks into the topsoil, it reacts with the humus to form an acid. This acid dissolves some of the nutrients in the A horizon and drips down into the B horizon, making it a bit more fertile. The same thing happens in horizon C, which is made up of partially weathered rocks and minerals, as well as leached material from the B horizon. Together, the three horizons form the soil profile. Below that, well, well, if you keep digging, you'll hit rock that hasn't been broken down yet. Bedrock. I warned you.